POV is the type of episode Batman the Animated Series was made for. It's mysterious, well written, and expands the world of the show with new locations and characters. You've seen this story template before. We open in the middle of a big event, then afterwards are told the different perspectives on it by each character that was involved. In this case, a bust goes wrong at a warehouse where a local gang is breaking into a safe. Detective Harvey Bullock, Officer Rene Montoya, and the rookie Officer Wilkes all have different accounts on the night as the warehouse was burned down and most of the gangsters got away. The wild card in this scenario is Batman. His involvement is unknown until later in the episode. The trio are chewed out in true stereotypical fashion by their superior in Gotham PD, Lieutenant Hackle, as Commissioner Gordon watches on. From here, we get the three varying views on the night in question. Bullock's angle on the situation of course depicts him as the hero, and I love his embellished narration. I was closing in when this loud noise tipped him. It must have been Batman. This is an interesting take on this type of story, because usually you'd see the flashback play out in the way the narrator is describing it, then at the end see how it really happened. But here, we get to see the contradictions play out visually the first time through as the voiceover goes on. Wilk's overview of the situation is more Batman-centric. This was the first time the rookie had ever seen him in person, and his description of how the caped crusader took out a few of the gangsters is really entertaining. It was incredible. The Batman threw out his hand and sparks flew from his fingertips. The guy tried to bolt, and the Batman just pointed at him. Wham! He drops. It was unbelievable. That type of almost supernatural view on Batman from a bystander's perspective is always fun to listen to. It was the whole premise of 2008's Gotham Knight, albeit much more exaggerated with what those people thought they saw. Finally, we hear Montoya's version of events, and they're the most straightforward of the three. She's cornered in the burning warehouse when Batman saves her, but we also see what became of him by the end of the night. He was buried alive. All three of them are suspended until Hackle makes a decision on who's to blame for the blunder. I believe this is the only appearance of that character, but damn, he was giving Gordon some lip. Ease up, Lieutenant. No, you back off, Commissioner. Gordon, this is my investigation, so pipe down or get out! The three of them turn in their badges and weapons as we follow Montoya riding the train on her way home. This is a small detail, but I loved seeing it. Small things like this go a long way with setting up tone and a wider view of this version of Gotham City. Montoya figures out a key detail to where the gangsters are going to be, and she finds them holding Batman captive. We then get some more great action and atmosphere as the episode hurtles towards an exciting finish. This is the first episode that shines a real spotlight on Renee Montoya, and what a great character she turned out to be. She has a long legacy, including a recent live-action appearance in the Harley Quinn Birds of Prey movie, but back in 1992's POV, she took center stage in a big way. An interesting note about this episode is that we never see the full face of the gang's leader. They kind of play it up like he's going to be someone important, but that's not the case at all. Also, the Driller character in this episode is voiced by Ron Perlman. It actually sort of looks like him too. This is his first, but of course not his last appearance in the series. Everything about POV hits at full force. Absolutely beautiful animation, great story, interesting characters, and a thrilling soundtrack. How could you ask for anything more? I don't hear POV talked about all that much when folks discuss the best this show has to offer, so if you want to see a perhaps underrated episode in the style this show was made for, make sure you check it out. The investigation is closed! <laughs>